We are about to see the coldest weekend of the season. The temperatures are expected to drop into the single digits in the days ahead. CBS 4's Hannah Fullman joins us now. Hannah, local health experts want people to know how to handle this frigid weather. How's it going out there? That's right. It's actually going quite well out here. The rain and snow stopped that had been going on for a little bit and now it's starting to get cold, but not too cold yet. Those single digits we will be seeing will happen later this weekend and health officials, like you said, want to make sure that you are taking extra precautions so you and your family can be safe. Not a good feeling to be chilling and everything like that. Belinda Lowry is one of many Indianapolis residents getting ready for one of the first wintry weekends in Indianapolis in a long time. That's why you see me at the grocery store right now, because I want to bunker down over the time. It's going to be too cold to go out in the ice and things of that nature. No, safety first. And doctors at Eskenazi Health agree. The best thing you can do when it gets as cold as it's going to get is to limit your time outdoors, especially when wind chills drop to the negatives. The lower the wind chill, the faster you get frostbite. Typically, it's on areas that have less blood flow. So you think about um, hands and fingers, uh, toes, feet, uh, you know, ears, especially the ear tips, um, tip of the nose, that kind of thing. Some of the best things to remember to avoid this is to always dress in layers and make sure your entire body is covered so your skin is not exposed to the bitter cold. It's also important you stay dry as wet skin leads to a quicker frostbite. Initially, you'll have kind of a, a red and warm and tingly sensation to your skin. Uh, then that skin will become numb. Especially for kids who are playing outside, make sure they are dressed appropriately and limit their time in the cold. Invite your kids in for, you know, whatever you want to do, hot chocolate or whatever, to try to get them to warm back up. But I, I don't know a whole lot of kids that would say no to hot chocolate. And as you're keeping your eyes on the younger ones, also make sure your elderly friends and neighbors are prepared too. So it's a lot easier for the older folks to get cold. That's why, you know, Grandma and Grandpa's house tends to be a little bit hotter is because it's harder for them to stay warm. It's one of those things where making sure that they have it, if they've got a heater, make sure they've got it and that it works and you know, make sure they have plenty of blankets, that kind of stuff. Again, the cold temperatures we are expected to see later this weekend will continue into next week, so make sure you grab your coats, grab your hats and stay warm out there. For now, reporting live in Indianapolis, Hannah Fullman, CBS 4 News.